one of the easiest wins inside of ChatGPT is using a PDF reader plugin to summarize and ask questions of your documents. So we're going to be talking about that today on Everyday AI's 12 Days of Plugins, where we, during the holiday season, are taking a look at 12 different plugins, one each day. So uh, if you're new here, welcome. What's going on? My name is Jordan Wilson, and I'm the host of Everyday AI. If you don't know, Everyday AI is a live daily live stream, podcast, and free daily newsletter helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI. So uh, sometimes uh, during the non-holiday times, we have an AI in five, but this is kind of like that. So we're going to take a look at this plugin inside of ChatGPT. So while this is running, I'm going to go ahead and tell you how to get this set up. So first and foremost, you need to have the paid version of ChatGPT, ChatGPT Plus, which is $20 a month. All right, and then you're going to need to go to plugins. And then from plugins, uh, you will scroll down to the bottom, you will go to the plugin store and you will type in AI PDF. You saw this is actually one of the more popular uh, plugins on the plugin store for good reason. It actually works really, really well. Um, and I've actually tested, I have another video where I tested, I think 12 different PDF plugins. Um, and AI PDF is probably the best PDF centric plugin that there is. So you will need to install this. And then when you create a new chat, you just need to make sure it's enabled. All right. So I just put a prompt in. Um, and as we are reading, I like to do these live. So I'm going to go ahead and do my next prompt. So you can see none of this is made up. We're doing this live. All right. So we're asking what can the AI PDF plugin do? And please give five real life business use cases. So uh, here's what the AI PDF plugin can do. Well, number one, it can summarize. PDFs, which is extremely helpful, right? Uh, the second thing, which is probably uh, a really unique feature of AI PDF actually, is it can also use um, semantic search. So what that means is it can understand the information within the document, um, you know, and not just be searching for things word for word. Um, you know, so it says it can understand the meaning and the context of your query rather than just keyword matching, which is extremely important. But um, let's look at what I asked for, which is five real life business use cases. So market research and now in analysis, uh, legal document review. Yeah. Lawyers, if you have public PDFs, and again, this is also important to know is within chat GPT or any other large language model, never upload, uh, sensitive classified proprietary information. Um, you know, but so many companies don't know the amount of information that they have publicly available, even in PDFs. So, uh, keep that in mind. Uh, you can do legal document review, financial reporting and analysis, academic research, healthcare documentation. Yeah, there's so many different things that you can do with a PDF reader plugin. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our test. So always, especially with PDF reader plugins inside of ChatGPT, you should always test them. Test them thoroughly uh, before you use something, especially if you're using it for an actual business use case. So as an example, I've, I've done this, I think, once before, but I have this old PDF on the website and uh, I hid this. So I hid this information about halfway through the document. So this document is 108 pages and on page 68, I said, and this is old because it's at like double this now, but uh, this document, I said the Everyday AI podcast has 14,855 downloads in the last seven days. So why is that important? Well, I'm giving chat GPT. So in the prompt, I'm saying using the AI PDF plugin, please careful, carefully analyze this document and give me a high level recap. Also, please tell me how many downloads the Everyday AI podcast has had in the past seven days. So again, this document, it's just really just a little of everything about growing the Everyday AI podcast. I actually did this before I started uh, the podcast and then I updated it as I went along. So very long document, just with a bunch of different research that I did within ChatGPT, which is another great uh, thing that you should be using ChatGPT for, by the way, is to uh, research and grow your business. So anyways, I hid that little piece uh, halfway through the document. Let's bring this up again so we can verify it. There we go. So let's see how AI PDF did in the two different tasks that I gave it. So, uh, all right, this is fun. I always, you know, test this out once first before and it worked fine. So it looks like, uh, here it said it encountered a limitation trying to summarize the document, uh, because it exceeds the plugins link limit for summaries. 
interesting because previously I literally did this exact same uh, video, uh, you know, a couple months ago when I was uh, comparing multiple different PDFs. Uh, but it looks like for whatever reason, it does not accept uh, inline PDFs uh, that are especially lengthy. So uh, let's go ahead and click and visit this link here. All right. So interesting. So what it's actually doing is it's taking me to the AI PDF GPT bot plugin. So for whatever reason, all right, well, this is good to know and we're finding out live, uh, but for whatever reason, it's taking us there. So let's try the exact same prompt. Um, and now instead of taking, putting in plugin, I'm saying using AI PDF. I don't think we're going to need that, but um, I'm going to go ahead and enter this. So we're going to try it with a URL, but we're also going to try it by uploading the document here. Looks at, It looks like it might be able to work both ways, but hey, we're going to find out live. All right, so we have to allow uh, permissions. So we'll go ahead and do that. And let's see how uh, how this did here, how AI PDF did, if it really um, did exactly what we were asking. So uh, pretty good here. So it is starting to uh, analyze this live, which is great. And we'll see if it got the little thing that we hid here, right? the uh, 14,855 downloads. So again, uh, we're finding out live, right? So it took it took us to their custom GPT bot. Uh, this plugin was working with 100 plus page uh, PDFs a couple of weeks ago, the last time I tested it. So let's jump back in and see how it's doing. So like I said, this actually this PDF is pretty tricky. Uh, to analyze because it is literally so many random different things, uh, but it's getting it right. So we talked about in this PDF, there's information in there about planning and content creation, software and hardware recommendations. I literally use ChatGPT, you know, before I started Everyday AI to help build and plan the podcast, right? Um, so good things, good things here. Interesting. All right. So it says regarding the podcast download metrics in the past seven days, such specific data isn't available in the document. Okay, interesting. So what we're going to do here is we're going to run the exact same prompt and we're going to take away the first part. So I'm just going to say, please tell me, I'm going to say, please uh, tell me how many downloads this has. So I'm taking out the part about summarizing and I'm strictly asking now the AI PDF bot uh, if it can find how many uh, how many uh, downloads that it's had in the past seven days, according to the document. So again, I'm having to hit uh, allow. So let's see how it does here. All right. So. It's interesting, right? Um, and the thing that I do like and that I liked originally uh, about the AI PDF plugin is it cited the, it cited the page source, which is great. So you'll see here it's citing page uh, 64 and 65. And then if we jump over into the document, hopefully you can see this here. But yes, this is uh, literally right between page uh, 64 and 65. So uh, it's this is interesting. So a, a new development. Um, it is taking me straight to the GPT bot, but I'll make sure to share that uh, in the description here. So um, a lot, and I've seen this a lot recently, a lot of uh, PDF plugins are becoming a little worse or they're moving over to bots like this. Um, and I think one of the reasons is, is because they're having trouble monetizing and doing it this way probably allows them to collect a little bit more data um, about how this is being used. Whereas normally with a plugin, you may not get that level of data for the plugin developer. So it's a little, uh, probably too much for the average user. However, uh, this was one of my favorite uh, PDF plugins, um, but the plugin, it looks like it. it's not as good as it used to be. However, uh, this bot, when you use it correctly, it looks like if you are asking multiple queries at once, not as good. But if you're asking one query at a time, pretty good. So I hope this is helpful because here's the thing. Some of these plugins are always great. Some of them throw us for surprises as we take them down live, but that's why we do this. So uh, please, if this is helpful, go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another 12 days of plugins.